The Gulf War happened in the early 1990s when Iraq invaded Kuwait. It led to a big international conflict. There aren't many movies about it, but there are some good ones. Prophet. There is no God but Allah, and Muhammad is his prophet. So you see, Grandma, it was just something that I had to do. Number 10 on our list is The Heroes of Desert Storm, a made-for-TV movie starring Angela Bassett and Daniel Baldwin. Unlike many war films, this one stands out for its commitment to portraying the true events of Operation Desert Shield and Operation Desert Storm without unnecessary drama or embellishments. Allah is great. Allah is great. It provides a straightforward and authentic perspective on these crucial aspects of the Gulf War, making it a noteworthy choice for those seeking a faithful representation of the conflict. Bravo New Zero. At number 9, we have Bravo 20, a British television miniseries that recounts the real-life tale of a highly decorated SAS patrol during the Gulf War. Comprising eight courageous men, this elite team was tasked with a perilous mission in 1991 to destroy Saddam Hussein's Scud missiles and disrupt communication lines between Baghdad and northwest Iraq. Coming through! Coming through! The series takes its name from the top-secret mission known as Bravo New Zero. It's a compelling narrative of bravery and survival behind enemy lines, shedding light on the extraordinary feats of these soldiers during a critical chapter of the Gulf War. Dawn of the World At number 8, we have Dawn of the World, a compelling film by Iraqi French director Abbas Fadl. This movie delves deep into themes of love, betrayal, the horrors of war, and personal struggles. It begins with the heartbreaking separation of the lovebirds Sara and Master at the onset of war, with Master interesting his friend Riyadh to watch over Zara before his tragic death. <laughs> The film's plot is emotionally charged, but its true brilliance lies in its exceptional cinematography, capturing even the smallest details with precision. And lift. Number 7 on our list is A-Lift, a remarkable film that tells the true story of Ranjit Kajal, who becomes a hero by leading the mission to rescue Indians in Kuwait during the conflict. The movie's main focus is on the thrilling plot, highlighting how people come together in times of crisis. Ranjit, initially distant from his Indian roots, undergoes a significant change as he faces the challenges of organizing this daring rescue. The one that got away. At number 6, we have The One That Got Away, a thrilling war film directed by Paul Greengrass. The story unfolds during Operation Desert Storm, a complex military operation with Saddam Hussein threatening to escalate the conflict. To prevent a wider war in the Middle East, the British government deploys the feared SAS team, Bravo 20, on a mission to infiltrate and destroy missile launchers. Unlike some portrayals of military heroes, Greengrass presents a more realistic depiction by showing the SAS team facing numerous challenges, including civilian interference and communication issues. The Manchurian Candidate And they factored you in. Number 5 on our list is The Manchurian Candidate, which is a 2004 remake of the classic 1962 film of the same name. While the original movie revolved around the Cold War, this updated version shifts its focus to the Gulf War. The core premise remains unchanged. American Sergeant Raymond Shaw is abducted and subjected to brainwashing by the enemy forces. Following his release, he becomes entangled in a dark conspiracy aimed at toppling the U.S. I think you should leave. No! 
What are you doing? I gotta find out what's gonna happen, where it's gonna happen. He's delusional. Government. This thrilling and suspenseful story explores themes of manipulation, conspiracy, and the vulnerability of the human mind. Live from Baghdad. Oh, we can all go up on the roof! Gentlemen, gentlemen, please! We can go up on the roof! At number four, Live from Baghdad is a film that's great for war enthusiasts and anyone interested in journalism. It's about a CNN reporter named Robert Weiner, played by Michael Keaton, who stayed in Baghdad during the dangerous Gulf War period. Instead of being a soldier, he's a journalist, and that's what makes this movie unique. Wiener goes to great lengths to get stories, even scoring an interview with Saddam Hussein. He doesn't back down, even when he realizes his team is being watched. His dedication pays off with CNN's success and praise from the defense secretary. Jar hit. At number three, we have Jarhead, a film based on Anthony Swafford's memoir about the first Gulf War. This movie offers a gritty and unglamorous portrayal of the challenges Marines face. The story follows Marines who undergo intense training and preparation for combat, only to find themselves frustrated when the Iraqis unexpectedly surrender. Led by Jake Gyllenhaal. Oh, oh, we are war. I love it out here because I count for something. America has given freedom to me. Jarhead delves into the mind of a real soldier in the U.S. Marine Corps during the Persian Gulf War. Critics and fans praised the film for its realistic approach and performances. Three Kings George Clooney Mark Wahlberg and Ice Cube At number two, Three Kings stands out as one of the best Gulf War movies featuring a small group of American soldiers who stumble upon an unexpected adventure. Their decision to search for hidden treasure near their desert base at the end of the Gulf War leads to a journey filled with surprising discoveries and a moral crisis that compels them to take significant risks. This film, starring George Clooney, Mark Wahlberg, and Ice Cube. We can't take it to the Iranian border. Then we don't have a deal. Has remained a beloved classic since its release in 1999 offering a unique perspective on the Persian Gulf War that has resonated with audiences over the years. Courage Under Fire Patella, find me a target! I think I got one, sir! Do you or do you not have a target? It's hard to make out, sir! Fire! At number one, we have Courage Under Fire, a notable film set during the Gulf War that explores the complexities of heroism and truth. Denzel Washington takes on the role of Lieutenant Colonel Sterling, a Gulf War veteran assigned to investigate Captain Karen Walden's eligibility for the Medal of Honor. He can't escape. Fire! He was like a brother to me. Captain Walden is believed to have displayed heroism during Desert Storm, but her actions are shrouded in conflicting accounts and a complex narrative. That's it guys. If you like this video, kindly give it a thumbs up and make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.